Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimirosi Rusmus Mordechai. Rabbi Sai, we're only 10 days away from the amazing Yuvamas. Yuvamas is coming up, and Be'ezer Hashem, we're going to have a lot of fun with Yuvamas as we had with Eruvin and other Mesechtas that have your name. So it's time to go get your friends. This is the week. So we're starting right after Shabbos. Monday is the Siyum. Go get your friends, grab them, explain to them they're going to be cartoons, animation, all sorts of stuff. Let's see if we have some time here because we started late. Uh, if I can find a good one here. Good evening, Ravelli. My name is Nisim Akilov, and since Hanukkah, I've been listening to Yadav. Not missed even one day yet. But the fact is, I only watch and listen on YouTube. We have somebody similar last night. I don't actually have a Gemara open. He has Gemaras. I'll tell you how I know he has Gemaras, but he doesn't open it. Many times I listen to my car while driving or in my office. Here's my question. Is it considered as if I'm learning Daf Yoimi? Can I make a scene for this kind of learning? <coughs> no, what Taina? Anybody? Yes. Why not? I don't, I don't see a problem. Side point. I was able to sign up nine new guys from our show. So nine guys means he gets a Gemara. It's Givaldic. We don't know. But you know what? If you sign up nine guys, even if it's us and you cannot make a seum by listening, he could. It's a new Allah. I don't know what he did, but he should be able to get one. I teach a Rashid, and to, to my tell me them, you're a rock star. Yes. Um, he wants to know if they can come for Shabbos. I, I wish I would have had this before Shabbos. Uh, he's a bacher that he spoke to in Prushim Shul before Shachras and Shabbos a couple of weeks ago when he was by me for Shabbos. It was as if he had shmuz with Reb Chaim Kenievsky. I mean, like an entire brach vatzlacha, not just bua. If you read this out loud, give a shout out to my father, Mr. Mark Heimberg, who's been watching you since the beginning of Sukkah. Avi Heimberg. Gadi Levi. Tomer Levi's brother. Perhaps it could be organized that people from the coil answer questions that people have on the daf. And they could be published on the WhatsApp page. Obviously, one would need someone to filter only relevant questions. Rabbi Gadi Levi. Okay, working on it. One of the things. What else? Oh, I got I didn't bring the gear, but this is a handwritten letter from a good friend. Those are the best. Dear Belly. Indeed, your Greystone gear does appear a little outdated. This is Donnie Rosenberg, the owner of Greystone. I'm not sure if Aviator Nation has made it out to Ramat Bet Shemesh yet, but perhaps it can take off. Aviator Nation, very, very high-end stuff. I got a box of stuff from him. Aviator Nation with the Greystone. Why don't you start sporting the look? So please enjoy some updated goods to keep you warm during the RBS winter. While you've comment related to the sweatshirt, what I heard was, Donnie, why the heck haven't you joined the DAF already? It's been four years. So, I'm in for Chagiga. He's in for Chagiga. After that, we'll see. With much appreciation for your continued friendship, partnership, support, and most recently, inspiration towards Limit Torah, Lahagdilu Lahadira, Dani. Yishkoyach Dani. All right. It's a big surprise, actually. I, I only realized that he's doing the dab with us when I opened the box. Yishkoyach for the gear. And you're going to come with us through the entire ride of Shas. Okay. We are holding Daf Yud Ches. Chai. Welcome to the guests. Shalom again. My, my gift from Badner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sponsors. Sponsors. Today, on Omid Bays, we start an unbelievable sugya of Tum and Tahara. Very easy. Very, today, especially, very easy. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and very, very Nagela Maisa. So let's see where the sponsors are. Here we go. The Paras HaChodesh for the Kailal is Mr. Anonymous, Lili Nishmas Chaya Bas Yosef. Mesech Tz Chagig is dedicated by the Kessel and Davis families, Rufu Shleimah, for me, Esther Bas Dvaira. Parents of Chodesh, as this chus for Fal Shlomo ben Lifsha and Rivka Bas Gila, that they should be Zoycha to Zeresh al Kayama Bekarid. By Shali, Shuli, Shali Rosenfeld, the 19 year old, in memory of my dear friend, again, he's 19 years old, donated $2,600. In memory of my dear friend, Yehuda 
Augenbaum. By Jonathan Davidov, in memory of Bechor Davidov, Ben Panir, may the Neshama have an Aliyah. And oh, one more, Yoni. It's not about the Daf, it's about the Yoni Nagler. In honor, they, we know him, he's the old one. In honor of Avi Mandelbaum's birthday, which is today, and Lezech Nishmas, Chai Sharona, Bastraga Feivel, whose yurt site is tomorrow. What happened? <laughs> Don't want to know. Okay, good. Zog Dele Gimbara, top of Yud Ches Aleph. So yesterday, we're trying to figure out this unbelievable halacha of Tashlumim for Shavuos. If a person forgets to bring a carbon on Shavuos, his Eilas Ria, Shami Chagiga, whatever it is, he has the ability to make it up for six days after Shavuos. Unbelievable. It's weekday. You can bring it just like you bring it six days after the first day of Sukkot. And the first day, seven days, uh, seven days of Sukkot, six days of Pesach, he could do so six days for Shavuos. Total of seven days. How do we know? One shot is because we learned from Pesach, the other pshat is because of this drasha, the krasim of the When do you make a day kadosh? You cross him, you're making kadosh. The time of kutzrichem, the time of shvuas. And it can't be yantiv, it has to be after shvuas. That was yesterday. So now we have a third drasha, the chagakotzer. This is more in the Pasuk. You don't have to go to a second Pasuk like the Drusha we just showed. Yeah, here, just in case you forgot already. Why is your Shlach saying a different Drusha? Because this is two different Pesukim. It might be referring to something else of a Kutzrichem. It might be referring to literally when you reap, not so much the Yantif. Over here, it's within the Yantif itself, within the Pasuk itself. The Chaga Kotzer, in the Yantif, it's called Kotzer. Which Yantif? Do you reap? It's Shavuos. Amos. Now, what is the Pasuk talking about? Elim v'yantav, k'sir v'yantav mishari. Are you allowed to cut the tefua on yantav? El alav l'tashlumim. We're talking about after Shavuos, for the next six days, when you reap. So we're talking, here's a, a hint in the Torah for tashlumim. Omer b'yechman. Chaga Asif, look at the bottom, it says in the same Pasuk, Chaga Asif, Ezi Chag, Shesh Be'asif, Avi Oymer, Ezi Chag Asukas, Eimas. So I'll, ask, I'll do the same drush that you just gave me, I'm going to do back to you, says Rabbi Yechonon to his brother-in-law, Rish Lakush. Eimas, what's the Pasuk talking about? Eilem, Rabbi Yante, Melacha Be'yante Mishari, you like to do Melacha Yante, El Be'chol Shemayed, you're talking about Chol Shemayed, Chol Shemayed Mishari, we're not talking about the shloom or anything. It just happens to be the Torah is telling us when this yantav occurs, not to tell us when you can do the shloom and for a karbon. But it says, Rabbi Yechon asked him, what, you're allowed to do malacha and chalamayit? Miklal, the Tavayi Sfiru, the Chalal Shomayit, also asked his malacha. How come Rosh Lakish didn't answer him? Yeah, you're allowed to. He didn't. He, was, he agreed to it. You're not allowed to do malacha and chalamayit? <laughs> How do we know this? The Torah Rabbanon is Chaga Matzos Tishmar Shivas Yomim. Now, it's unbelievable. If you remember from Moed Katan, Dav Beis Amad Aleph, the very, very first Rashi in Moed Katan says, "How do I know that you're not allowed to do Melacha on Yantiv? The whole Masech is about not doing Melacha Chalamayid. How do you know you're not allowed to do Melacha Chalamayid?" And Rashi over there brings Chagiga Daf Yudchas. We have to wait 45 days from the beginning of Mayan Katan all the way to here to finally find the source why you can't do Malacha on Chalamayin. According to Rashi, it's an Isidur Raisa. Taisa says it's only an Asmachta. We bring Psukim as a, as a hint to this Durabanan, but it's only the Rashi and other Rishonim hold it's a Raisa. It says in the Pasuk, it's Chag Hamatso is Tishmar Shivas Yomin. Tishmar. Is a You have to, if you are not shoimer, you over in a the entire chagamatzos, all of it, not just the first day. It doesn't say in the pasuk the first day. It says chagamatzos, including chalamayit. Chalamayit is aser in melacha. Limen achal shemayit she aser basias melacha. Haman and Paroi 
had a fight, right? It's coming up now to uh, Purim, they had a fight. Who did more harm to the Jews? You say, you know the joke already. So, yeah. So, Haman tells Paroi, look at you. I gave them one day Yantaf, one day. But you gave them seven days. <coughs> no. What are you going to say about that? He says, Paroi, yeah. But I cause them to clean 30 days before my yantiv and have a stomach ache 30 days after yantiv. Oh. Uh, we're getting to Tum and Tahara, so we gotta. No, we gotta find. We gotta find. Anybody have better stuff? Email me quickly. You don't need to come on to this. I have another source. This will say for later. Here, you have the first day of Yantav, and you have the last day of Yantav. But each one of these days, you have Yantav Rishon, the first day of Yantav, right over here, there's no Gdusha, right over here, there's no Gdusha. The last day of Yantav, there's no Gdusha over here, there's no Gdusha over here. But the days of Chalamayr are sandwiched between Gdusha. And nevertheless, the first day and the last day is Asav Melacha, Chal Shemayed. Oh, since they're sandwiched between Gdusha and Gdusha, there should be us to do Malacha right over here. So I don't even need a Pasa. Learn of Kavach What's the answer to that? The answer is. What about just a regular week? Any, any day of the week. You have a Shabbos over here and a Shabbos over here. So you should be us to do Malacha. Sunday through Friday, according to your logic. And that obviously cannot be. We wouldn't exist if we couldn't do malacha. Don't bring me a riot from a regular week. There's no carbon there's no musaf, and therefore you're permitted to do malacha. Perhaps chalamite is different, because since you have to bring a carbon musaf and it's sandwiched together, it's also a malacha. Says the Gemara, Rish Chaydesh Yichiyach. Rish Chaydesh, Yesh Bar Karba Mosav. What about this malacha? It's not, just because you bring a Karba Mosav doesn't constitute is a malacha. Mal Rish Chaydesh, Shein Kari Mikra Kaydesh. Tarim Bechal Shemayet, Shekara, Shekara Rui Mikra Kaydesh. There's, you, you, Mekadesh it. But with the Isra Malacha, you say this day is Kadesh with Isra Malacha. So you have a number of things here. First of all, it's sandwich. And it's a mikro kaidish. And you bring a mosaf. Everything together, maybe. Creates a isra malach according to Rabbi Yonis. And I don't need a pasuk, he says. Tanya idach. But I have another source to tell me that it's also to do malacha on chalamite. According to Rashi, it's a deraisa. According to what? So you stop asking a question. What's yeah. the habi mean of the Gemara? Forget about it. The Gemara, the Taras is Mufur, she allowed to do. You're saying, I have a Pasuk. Shesu Yom Teyas Malacha. Tas Malacha. No, I hear. I hear. Shesu Yom Teyas Malacha. No, I don't remember the words of that. Okay. I hear. Yeshla Ayin. He's asking that the Pasuk is Mufur by Yom Chal that you could do Malacha. Tanya Idoch. It says by Sukkot, you shouldn't do any work. Teaches you the entire yantav you can't do melacha diber Rabbi Yosi Aglili. Rabbi Kiva Oimer ein etzarich. Harei you Oimer elam oyad Hashem. So I don't know if you could see very well because there's a lot of psukim here. You have here pasuk lam edalad lam ehe lam evav lam ezayin and lam etes. First, I put Lamedal so we know that we're talking about Sukkos. Chag as Sukkos Shivas Yom. And then it says, Bayom Rishon, Komalach Zavadu Loisasu. Bayom Ashmini, Komalach Zavadu Loisasu. 
So Pasuk Lamed Eilam and Vav are telling us the first day of Yantif and the last day Shemini Atzeri, Simchas Taira, can't do Melacha. Lamed Zayin, Eilam Oyadei Hashem. Okay, says Rabbi Kiva, I don't need a special Pasuk to tell me that you can't do Melacha on Chalam Ayed, Kol Melechis Havad Leisasu, it says in the Pasuk like this. Eilam Oyadei Hashem. All of a sudden in Pasuk Lamed Zayin, it says these are, th- this is the Yantif. What's the Pasuk trying to tell us? In Berisha, in Harik for Neimah Shabbosai. If it's the first day of Yantif, we already have over here. Where is it? Be Berisha and Pasuk Lamed Hey, right over here. Be Yoy Berisha and Gemalas Avodah Sasu. What could the Pasuk be talking about? Elam Yadishem. What is it coming to tell us? In Berisha, Harik for Neimah Shabbosai. In Bashvi, Harik for Neimah Shabbosai. And Pasuk Lamed Zayin. No, I can't see. Lamed Vav. B'yoyim HaShmini. Kolam Lamed Sasu. Again. In Barisha, Narek Kivayin Amen HaShabasin. In Bashvi, Narek Kivayin Amen HaShabasin. Did I put the wrong Pasuk in there? Oh, it says Bashmini. Yeah, Bashmini. You have to take out Bashmini. Very good. Narek Kivayin Amen HaShabasin. Ho'ein HaKaz Min Da'aber, Elo V'choy L'Shem Mo'yed. So this Pasuk, Eil HaMoyad HaShem, is talking about Chalam Mo'yed. All right, we're almost on the bottom of the page. We're almost turning to Tumen Taira. Yo, come, come down. I need you for a second when we get to Tumen Taira. Okay, Tan Yidoch. Six days, we're talking about Pesach, six days, eat matzahs, we mashvi atzeres lashem. Mashvi yotzur, it's too loud. Mashvi Otsur, just like the seventh day, it says Shvi Atzeres Atzeres. You can't, you have to stop. Otsur, right? Remember the stop sign Atzor. You have to stop doing Melacha. Avsheishes Yomim Atzurim. The six days are also you have to stop from doing Melacha. Chalmoy no Melacha. Imashvi Otsur Otsur b'chol Melacha. Maybe you can't do anything, anything on Chalmoy. There's an extra hey, Hashvi, the seven day at Saris, Hashvi Otsu Bukhomalach, and Shish Yom Atsur Bukhomalach. Okay. So we, it's, it's two things. First of all, it tells us you can't do Malacha, but you could do some Malacha, not all Malacha is only in the seven. Chalmai, you could do some. Halim Sarna Kosov, Elo Chachomim, Loy Malach. It's very interesting. The Torah gave Chachamim the right to decide. Eze yoyim asur, ve eze yoyim mutter. They decide when it's mutter, when it's asur. Eze malach asura, ve eze malach mutteras. Very interesting. Why? Why? Where do you see that Chachamim have this power? Welcome back, Tzadik. I, just, I was just thinking about you. You came back. No, I have a picture of you in my dining room with a monkey. Remember that? When did you get back? Thursday. Thursday, okay. Welcome back. All right. So, Chachamim, Rashi says beautifully. What, what's going on here? Rashi says, since Chacham have the right to decide when Yantaf is, in other words, when Chalamayit is, they decide when Rish Chodesh is. And by deciding when Rish Chodesh is, they decide what the Chalamayit starts, so they have power. If they have power, they can decide when and how. What malacha also? Is it Dover Ovid? Not Dover Ovid? So I saw in a sefer called Eretz. Eretz Hashem, I think it's called. He says, what's, what's Pshat? Because the Torah wanted to give human beings the ability to go the extra mile. It's okay. We have a lot of mitzvahs and we're, we're sort of forced to do it. Everything Hashem said to do this, do this, do this. Hashem wants to see that we're going the extra mile on our own. Chacham say, we, don't know, we should take something upon ourselves that's not in the Torah. Let's do something else. Like somebody, and he brings a marshal that, and we're going into these sugyas sort of, when people would be makbed to eat chulin al taras It's an extra, extra mile. I'm going to be careful with my regular fruit like it has Gdusha. Going the extra mile. 
Okay. Zog the Gemara. Here we go. Umutorim behespid v'tainus. We learned in the Mishnah that the following day after Yantav, after Shavuos, even though you're bringing a carbon, let's say you're, ma- you're trying to make it up, you're allowed to bring, you're allowed to do a hespid, you're allowed to make a tainus. Why? We have the tzdukim, and they, they claim that Shavuos is always on a Sunday because it says, Mimachras HaShabbos. Shavuos should be the following day after Shabbos. So, if Shavuos falls out on a Shabbos, and you have to bring the makeup carbon on Sunday because you forgot, don't make sure that you don't do it like a yantif. The kind doesn't wear Shabbos clothes. You make her spay them on purpose. You make a hesped and you fast to show it's not yantif today. Even though it's on a Sunday, you don't want them to think. <laughs> Says the Gemara, Vayitmar, Maisa Umeis, you're not going to believe this. Maisa Umeis, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa! <laughs> Who gives the best Afiyah Mishir in the world? Hi, I'm Alexa. M, D, Y is the best Shear in the world. There you go. Shalom. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> no, I didn't like it, so do it again. Alexa, Hi. who is the best shear in the world? There's always a delay here. M D Y is the best shear in the world. Gavaldi. Shall I repeat myself like a <laughs> parrot? <laughs> You gotta take out that that middle. Y'all say you have a lot of work now. Now we know women listen to the fear. I have to say, listen, at 12 10 a.m. I called up Gary. I said, listen, you gotta do me a favor. Get Alexa to say this. It's like, I'm going to sleep now. So get Alexa to say it. Okay, thank you. Shkoyach <laughs> Gershon. All right. I'm not joking. That's how it's spelled in the art scroll. That's how it's spelled in my Gemara. Alexa. The Alexa's dead. Finished. Beloyed. Died in the airport. All of Klai Yisrael came to give a husband. We got to we, we got to get this up. We, 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 we coming into two entire in a second. So what do you retire? So what are you what are you, you giving a hesped now? It's yantif. It's shvuas. Says Gemara, it's yantif sagadaytoch. You can't give a hesped. No, nobody in the right mind would come to a funeral, a levaya on, on shvuas. If yantif mikaos, nobody's going to come. Eloim avnei yoim tavaya chaya. It's the days after Yontif that, are, that you're allowed to make up your carbon. The days of Shechting, Tavayach. Oh. So what do you see from here? I'm busy with Alexa now. What? Hold on. Oh, he said, you're not allowed to make a hesped. It says in the Mishnah that you do a spadim. And a tainus on the day after Shavuos, Reb Tainus says, what are you doing? There's no espadim now. It's the day that you can make up karbanas. And if it's the day you make up karbanas, you cannot have a hesped. But it says that you could make a hesped. Which one is it? Like Ashi. Kam beyond of shechal liyoyz achar Shabbos. Kam beyond of shechal liyoyz b'shabbos. Very simple. Says the Gemara, here's Shavuos. If the hesped, you see the guy with the flowers? If the hesped is right over here, then you could make aspid. Why? Because it's the day Mimachas Shabbos. That's when I want to show those Dukim people. They don't know what they're talking about. We're going to make a Hespid. We're going to make a Tainus. We do everything. But if a guy is nifter right over here, three days after Shavuos, I have no reason to show the Dukim anything. So it's Asr. Because it's in the days of Tvayach. It's in the days of making up. The only day I have a Hespid to make a Hespid, says tomorrow, is on Sunday. Bottom line. Okay. Uh, 
Very good. Now we turn to Dav Yud Chesam and Pays, sponsored by Moshe Horn in honor of Chewy, Woody, and the Kale Twins, and sponsored by Moshe Kinsbursky in honor of Brian and Talia Edgar. So, uh, who's the mission sponsored by? I forgot already. I know, if you have the name, let me know. I'll say it. Okay. So we're getting to the sugya of Tum Tahira. Basically, it's until the end of Masechta. Tum and Tahira, in the time of the Beis Hamikdash, people lived this. It was their life. Sort of like we live COVID. They lived it. You got to be careful from this. You got to be careful of that. Where you go, how you go. There's a super spreader. The guy that makes everybody contaminated by COVID. There's a less guy. That. So, there are, just to explain, it's very, very simple the way it works. Tuma always goes in dargas, in steps. So you have the, the, the most tummy thing in the world is a dead human body. Dead yid. Avia voice at tumma. The highest level of tumma. If somebody touches that body, he becomes one step less than that. And if somebody touches him, he becomes one step less than him. And it keeps on going less and less until it stops. Or almost. Body is avia voice at tumma. You touch. You human being touched avia voice at tumma. What do you become? Avatumma. If somebody touches an avatuma, what does he become? A rishon. If something touches a rishon, what does that become? A sheni. Goes from a first, to a second, to a third, to a fourth. Now, so we have that. There's a via vaisatuma, there's an avatuma. A dead mouse is an avatuma. If somebody touches a dead mouse, he becomes a rishon. So real quickly, these are the things we're going to be talking about in the Mishnah, and it goes down in, in order. Chulin, you have uh, a regular apple, is chulin. The most this could become is a sheni. In other words, here, um, in a second I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Meiser sheni, which is, you know, you take truma, gdaila, you take meiser rishon, and after you take all that stuff off, 10% goes to yourself, you bring it to Yerushalayim. Meiser Shani. What is that? That's like chulen. It's yours to eat. So therefore, it only goes to Shani. Meaning, it cannot make something a shlishi. It doesn't have, it stops at a Shani. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come to me more than by a Shani. But truma. Truma, when you give this food, you give the 2% to a kayan from your produce, you give 2% to a kayan, it's very susceptible to tumma, more susceptible than chulin. So therefore, a sheni will make the truma a shlishi. It becomes a shlishi. Now what could a shlishi do? It can make kachim a revi. Truma cannot make anything, it can't make chulin tame because it's very weak. It has very, very little... Uh, uh, um, strength or what do we call it in COVID? Very little, um, what was that word? Contamination. contamination, okay. Very, very, very little ability to contaminate. It's only a shlishi. But it could contaminate carbonus. It could take a carbon, if somebody has meat from a, a shlamim, that is very susceptible to tumma, even more than truma. So shlamim will become, or a chatas that a kain eats, will become tame through shlishi. What can you do with the ravi? Only the water of a paraduma. And a paraduma is so susceptible to tuma, it can become tummy forever. From a shishi, from a shvi, from a 110. It's just very susceptible to tuma. Okay. Now, I want to show you something real quickly. Here, come, y'all. My son, y'all, is going to come here. I want to show you something very, very interesting. Here, come. See, Shom Aleichem, this is Sadiq. He does the daf on his own. This is a second masechta without me asking him. And no incentives. Now, I have here something. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't rehearse this, so here. This, Rabbi Isai, is Avatuma. He's dead. This guy is dead. Yeah, died. He died from COVID. So, 
Or, I'm going to ask you to, wait, Vey, here, pick that up. Yes. Yeah. We have a mask for him. Here, put the mask on the mouse. Yeah, I'll help you. Now, because, because he put the mask on the mouse, now you, this guy just became, he became a? So I'm going to, I have to do this. Hold on a second. It's very, very important. Okay. This guy's a Rishon. Why is he a Rishon? Because he touched the Avatuma. Rishon. Now, me, oh, oh, this is very, very important. I touched him, so I become a Shani. Now, Midaraisa, I shouldn't become Tommy at all. This apple that touches him becomes a Shani. That's, that's the way it works. This apple becomes a Shani. He's a one, this becomes a two. But me, I'm a person. If I touch him, I can touch him all day long. Shmack, you boy, do the daf, you valdic. So what becomes Tommy? My hand. My hand becomes Tommy. My rest of the body doesn't become Tommy. That's very interesting. That's a new halacha, a new concept that I don't become Tommy, just my hand. What do I do to get the tumor away from my hand? I wash my hand. I don't have to wash my whole body because my whole body is not Tommy. Just my hand, this part, I can wash it. There's another thing I can, I can put in the mikvah, but I don't have to go that, 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 that much. Just, okay, you can take, hold on a second. Come closer, I need a thumbnail. Hold it like that, and I want the mouse. You should be holding the mouse. Right. There you hold the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Smile! Yeah, down, no, okay. Right. Very good. Givaldi. So, that's it. you could go back, but the, you're reaching for the rest of your life. Okay. Shkoyach Reb Yoyal. Says, says the Eligim Mishnah. No, you don't die. Why do you krechts, Mendy? I'm just curious. And now, now you have Kharata from the krechts. Okay, good. Just hear me out. Let me have it. No, you don't need die. So now, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where's my other sheet? Okay. Remembering that we're over here. You wash your hands if you touch chulin or for chulin, lemaiser or the truma. You wash your hands for those three things: chulin, maiser sheni. You want to eat maiser sheni? Wash your hands. Truma. Now, how else can you become tummy? We showed one example. Another example is if you touch a sefer tyra. If a person touches a sefer tyra, his hands become tummy. That was a zeri the rabbanon. Another way to become tummy with your hands unrelated really to these first two cases, is if a person is not careful with his hands. He doesn't remember, he's a Messiah Das, he forgot about what he did with his hands. He might have scratched his head, his, his whatever, his body during his sleep. You're not careful, that creates tum in the hands and you have to wash your hands before you eat chulin, truma, and maiser. Period. Next. Ule kodesh, but if you want to eat kachim, you want to eat a karbon, you went to the Beis HaMikdash, Beis HaShem, next week. We're going to the Beis HaMikdash, we're going to mean the whole thing. I mean in a few days. Matbilin. What does Matbilin mean? Toivel what? Hands. Stick your hands in the mikvah. Matbilin, I just want to make sure everybody is on the same page with me. Not your body, your hands. Well, a chatos, what does chatos mean, Rabbi? Say, not a carbon chatos, but me chatos. A paraduma, the water I sprinkle at a dead, uh, somebody that touched a dead body, the only way to become tar. Im nitmu yadav, nitma gufai. If your hands became tame with what? By touching Yoel, by touching your reshine, or by touching a safer tyra. Nitma gufai. The whole body becomes tummy, but not if, not stami daim The whole body. So what if the whole body becomes tummy, then what do you do? Mikvah. Now I have to put my whole body in a mikvah. Listen to this. Toval l'chulin. If a person goes to the mikvah, this toival, with intent to be tahar for chulin, to watch himself so he could eat chulin bitahara. 
Unreal. This is the biggest Yisoyed in Yiddishkeit. I don't know the biggest, but we talk about this all the time. Yiddishkeit is in the head. It's in the head. What difference does it make? I went to the mikvah. I'm completely tahar. I'm out of the mikvah now. Why can't I eat something else? No. It goes by what you thought when you went into the mikvah. You thought you want to become tahar for chulen. You're stuck with chulen. You thought you want to become tahar for truma. You could do truma, maiser, and chulen. You thought you're going to be tired for kachim, kachim, truma. But if you only think about chulin, you're stuck at the least level, at the, at the lowest level. I, I didn't touch anything. I, I know for a fact. I watch. No. With the Rabbanon, it's about intent. A guy goes to sleep at night and he thinks, all he does is he thinks for three and a half seconds. I'm going to sleep so I can get up the next morning to learn daf yomi. His entire eight hours of sleep, one big mitzvah. He thinks he's going to get up He's going to sleep so he could go on a skiing trip tomorrow. Garnished. Nothing. Zero. It's all in the head. Yosef, don't worry about it. You thought both. Mm -hmm. In the head. If you think in your head that this piece of mun is going to taste like pizza, it tastes like pizza. You don't think anything, it tastes like zero. It's in the head. Zogdi Umar says, says the Mishnah. So you, I can't eat Meiser, I'm Tommy. But if I went to the next step of Meiser, I thought to myself, I'm, I'm going to the mikvah for this. What if a person didn't think about anything? Zero machshava. He happened to fall into the mikvah. We'll see. Nothing. If he had intent to go for a truma, it's good for a truma, but also the kaidish, he can't go for the next step of kachim. If you went for the fourth step of Kachim, but he didn't think, never had intent, he didn't even realize that there's such a thing called Baraduma. They're going to call him up there to hold it and then sprinkle. Can't, can't deal with it. Can't touch the Mechatos. Can't touch that water. You will make a Tameh, even though you just went to the Mikvah a second ago. Tavel Chamor, Mutar, Lakal. If you go for the most Chamor, you have an intent. I'm going to the Mikvah so I can do touch Baraduma water. It's good for everything on the list. You went into the mikvah. You tripped into a mikvah. You oh, got scared. You jumped out. You had zero kavana. It's as if you didn't go to the mikvah at all. Unbelievable. I'm serious. This is like, we got to think about it. It's not some Allah. It teaches us how to live. Big day prushim. Medris loich truma. A big day amaretz. Oh, hold on a second. I got something here for you. I mean, you're familiar with it, but we got to show it anyways. The Begadim of Amaritz. Amaritz from New York. Big day, Amaritz, Midras Leprusha. What does that mean? If a person is a Zav, Zav, Anida, they have Tumas Aguf, they're Ava Tuma, and they sit, on a, they sit on a bed, they sit on a couch, the couch becomes the Ava Tuma. High, very high level, like a dead mouse. All the clothing of Amaretz, since they don't know anything, we don't know what their wives know. So maybe their wife sat on it. Maybe he was a Zav. We don't know. So we have to treat everything the highest degree of Tuma. Leprushim. Shul right over here called Prushim means people that are separated from others. People that, that act with a high degree of, of, of being careful with Tuma. Big day Prushim, Medrash Lachli Truma. Now, you think these Prushim guys... Not them, but the people that are prushim, they're so careful. But their clothing is tame for those who eat truma. The higher level. Big da'ichli truma. This is how we treat people. This is how we treat things. We, it's very interesting. I don't know if there's a logic here. I mean, I just thinking about it, I, I could be completely wrong. If a person has somebody in their house that's deathly ill, a, a 98-year-old man who's like very, very fragile. So the way they... Treat him with COVID, for instance. Stop. We're going to be so careful. We're not going to bring this and anybody that went next to somebody that had COVID. Nothing in this house. Because if he gets it, he's done. That, that's how you treat Truma. That's how you treat Kachim. So somebody's a little careful. He puts on a shtickle mask when he goes to Shul. It's not on the same level as when he has a 98-year-old in his house. Yeah, he's careful. He's careful for, for, for Truma. He's not careful for Kachim. It's a different way of, of, of being careful. Two different levels. Maybe. I don't know. Big day, Oichli, Truma, Menzel, Kaidish. Big day, Kaidish, Menzel, Chatos. Yes, but Yes, Oichli, Chatos, Shibikuna. 
Yosef was a big chassid and he was a kayan. Yet, since he was only makbid on truma, his napkin was considered tamay for somebody that wanted to, to eat karbanas. He treated everything like kachim. Yet, for the final, final level of chatas, it's nothing, it's tamay. Says the Gemara, What is the mission talking about? You have to wash your hands to eat an apple? A regular stam, chulan? Or even Maizr Shani? Verimini, hatruma, va bikurim. Bikurim, your first fruit. What is that considered? It's a type of truma. Chayavim aleim misa. If you eat it, bimezid, your chayiv misa bide shemayim. Vichaymesh, and if you eat it, bishaygeg, your chayiv a fifth. There's a special Rashi sticks in. You could ask, what's the chiddush? We just said, Yechayiv Misa. Obviously, it's also Zarim. But Rashi also sticks in, this or Lav. But the Rishonim discuss it. It belongs, the Truma, you give the, the Kayin 2%, he could be Mekadish a woman with the 2%. He could buy real estate with it. It's his. Truma is very, very Chomer. So if a piece of this apple, truma, falls into a box of apples, the whole box becomes truma, a Yisrael cannot eat the box. Unless there's a hundred other apples in there, and the total for 101 with this, then it becomes mutter to eat everything. What about other Yisurim? One apple more and a little bit, a rife. One and a half apples will get this out of any Yisur. Not by truma, you need a hundred apples. Utuunim netilo sidaim. Oh... What does it say here? What needs Natila Zidayim? Truma, Bikurim. That's it. It doesn't say anything about Chulun. Verev Shemesh, if a Kayin wants to eat his Truma and he's Tomei, he goes to the mikvah, but he can't eat it right away. He has to wait until nightfall. Who told you that Maiser, who said a regular apple, you have to wash your hands for that? Kasha Maiser, Maiser, Kasha Chulun, Chulun. What do we do here? Says the Gemara, I can make say it's a This non, call be a Maiser. Who says that you have to wash your hands to eat a Truma? Who says that you have to wash your hands to eat a Like my hand was a Shani, which needs a Mikvah. It makes the Kodesh Tame. What does Metama mean? Metama is very strong. It's so Tame that it can make something else Tame. It can make something else Tame. What does Poisal mean? It's not the same thing. I mean, it itself becomes puzzle, but it's a dead end. It doesn't continue giving off Tuma. Oh. So we have a Remeir here. So we have Chachamim that say Meiser is Aser. Remeir says Chulin and Meiser Amutter. You don't even need, you don't need Natil Sedaim. So El Chulin Achulin Kashi. Oh, sorry. What do I do over here? Over here, we said it goes according to the Meir, the bright, the Mishnah, Chulin, and my Sashenah need Natil Sidaim. The Bryce says Chulin, my Sashenah don't need Natil Sidaim. So we have Remeir. So what do you do about Chulin? When it comes to eating, the Mishnah says you need Natil Sidaim. But just touching, you don't need Natil Sidaim. Masculine of Shimi Barashi, Ad can only believe you're a bona lady or a mayor, El Bachil the Meiser. El Benigir the Meiser. Ubachil the Chulan Pligi. What are you talking about? There's no machlagis by touching Meiser and eating Chulan. Says the Gemara, El Eidi, we have to, maybe we'll go back tomorrow on this. El Eidi, Vidi Bachila, Veloy Kashi, Kam Bachila the Nahamo, Kam Bachila the Pear. I think everybody knows this. When it comes to eating regular Chulan bread, you have to wash your hands. That's why it says you have to wash your hands. We're talking about bread. Why? Because we want, one of the reasons we want Kayhanim to be careful with truma and bread is considered a meal. So everybody is involved. Everybody washes their hands with Kayhanim. Get used to this idea. We'll stop over here. Rabbi Isai, whoever washes for fruit and doesn't have to is a bagaiva. But if for bread you wash, have a wonderful day.